And guys, a Merry Christmas. <sighs> I hope everyone got what they wanted for Christmas. Um, more importantly, I hope um, most people got to spend Christmas with family. Um, those of you who didn't, um, my thoughts are with you. Today is a subscriber chosen mukbang. SM has chosen my meal today. It is Chinese and they've chosen exactly what I'm having. So I'm gonna get all the ingredients, all, all the stuff out and then show you. We have a sweet and sour sauce, which comes with a sweet and sour chicken balls. And we have a curry sauce, which was also requested. There's a portion of chips right there. We have some sweet and sour chicken balls. Here we have um, plain chow mein. I didn't know whether it was plain chow mein you wanted. You just said uh, chow mein noodles. So, there they are. There's some salt and pepper chicken. This is barbecue ribs. Chicken in lemon sauce. Egg fried rice. Right, we are ready. Uh, yeah, uh, let's have some chippies. Got off some chips. Give me a second, let me just throw my cat off the balcony. I'm joking, actually I need to go get my drink. SM wanted me to have my favorite drink. I'm saving, one of them is apple tizer, which I was gratefully gifted um, by Tatiana. So thank you for that. Um, the other one is this Florida orange from Marks and Spencer's. Basically, these two are my favorite two drinks, the appetizer and the sparkling Florida orange from Marks and Spencer's. There is another drink which I really love, but I haven't had it in years. It's Orangina, but it has to be Orangina in the glass bottle. Don't taste the same in a plastic bottle. Swiss our chicken ball. Lovely jubbly. Yeah, we didn't have takeaways very often when we was a kid. It used to be a treat. <laughs> you know, kids nowadays just go to McDonald's when they want. Whereas <clears throat> when I was younger, it used to be rare we would get takeaway it'd always be a home cooked meal mm. this chicken's nice it's really juicy Mm-mm. 
<clears throat> but you know what, I don't. I don't mind that having a takeaway was a, a very rare occasion when we was kids. You know, my mum was my mum and my dad. You know, she she had three jobs to to support us. That is nice. I love my chicken balls. But enough of the sad stories. I'm going to talk this video. I'm going to talk about Christmas. What it was like for me. Um, Basically, what it would be. Is. <clears throat> we'll go to sleep. Christmas Eve. We will. Yeah, basically we'll go to sleep on Christmas Eve, wake up on Christmas morning, um, open up presents from Father Christmas. And I will go in to my sister's room to see what she got from Father Christmas. And it used to make me laugh. <clears throat> because with me, I would have everything opened. You know, I'd, I'd, I'd be waking up at six o'clock in the morning or whatever. And my room, will be full of wrappers. I would have opened it, everything. Yeah, I'll go to my sister's room, and if she is awake, she's maybe opened up one present and is playing with that one present, and she's got all the other ones wrapped up next by her bed, and I'm just like, <laughs> me. I am just can't wait to get everything open to see what I've got. You know, um, and then we used to obviously have our uh, toys from Father Christmas to play with. For a few hours. Um, then we will... <clears throat> we'll all put our uh, Christmas jumpers on. And then we'll go out to the... Uh, knock on all the neighbours' doors uh, and do Christmas carols. <laughs> I can't even say it with a straight face. <laughs> oh God, do people not even actually do that, or is it just in the movies that they go Christmas caroling or, or sit round the fire and start and sing Christmas songs and stuff? Um, yeah, we don't do that <laughs> in my family. Um, basically, you know, we'd spend all day in our rooms, playing with our toys. Mm. 
Yeah, we, we would be planning our rooms with our toys, have a good time. We'll come downstairs, we'll have dinner. <clears throat> so we will have dinner down uh, downstairs. It'd be an early one. It'd be about one, two o'clock in the afternoon. So it'd be like a, a lunch. Once we've eaten dinner and all the washing up is done and everything's put away and the kitchen's tidy, only then would we be allowed to um, open the presents underneath the Christmas tree. We won't open them as soon as we come downstairs. wait till after dinner like after our Christmas meal before we open them <coughs> I don't know whether you wanted it like this with the rice or whether it was I can't, I can't remember how you wanted how you said you wanted it whether it was with the chicken and rice uh, or not not sure you go, stay away. After, yeah, after that, we'll go and um, sit by the Christmas tree, open up our gifts, um, which as a kid you don't you know you don't realize but you're you're opening up all your presents and and your parents just sitting there with nothing to open you know because you're too young you're like 10 years old or or something and they're just sitting there watching you and you know the fact that they've worked hard all year to save up enough to to get you some really nice clothes or a really nice TV and stuff. But yeah, I mean, like I said, as a kid, you don't you don't really notice it. And I know, as a parent, they will say that they didn't mind it. They they got satisfaction from seeing a joy um, on our faces when we opened up presents and stuff. But yeah, it is. It still. It still gets to me. You know, I'd love to know what. What everyone else's Christmas is like. What do you do on Christmas morning? Do you open up presents? Do you sit around um, listening? Is a Queen's speech on Christmas? I can't remember. You know, do you guys sit around listen and watch the Queen's speech at Christmas or um, what? We don't. We don't um, have no traditions of any movies or anything. Our tradition has always been, uh, as a kid, we'll open up our, Christ our presents from Father Christmas and then we'll go down um, and then we'll have an early dinner. <clears throat> After dinner's done, we'll open all our presents um, and then we'll have a spread. Basically, it's like a load of party food that we can pick at throughout the day. <clears throat> I 
I still love that, you know. Um, we still did it up until recently, until about five years ago. I, f I think it was the last time we, we did that as a family. I enjoyed that. And then it got moved to, to Boxing Day. Um, so instead of on Christmas Day, in the evening, having a party, we would um, have a party on Boxing Day. And that is something that I miss as well. Because we used to all go back to, to my mum's um, on Boxing Day. and have a party, <clears throat> just party bits. You know, maybe we'll make some sandwiches with the leftover turkey. Um, but yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's nice. I mean, I suppose the, the tradition now is probably my mum uh, would buy, and I guarantee you, there's under the tree. Uh, my mum would buy for my two sisters uh, a box of chocolates, whether it be dairy milk, milk tray, or whatever they're called. And <laughs> my mum, for years, my mum used to get them for me as well. And I keep telling her I don't, I don't eat chocolate. You know, she used to get it for me, and then I used to give it to my sister. And yeah, it's. <sighs> You know, but yeah, she she eventually stopped uh, getting me a box of chocolates because, like I said, I'm I'm not I'm not a really big fan of chocolate. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. I have no issues. I can eat it. Oh, this is this this is gonna bug me. Ty white. I beg you, bugger off. Yeah. There's a bit of lemon chicken. Now bugger off. But yeah, man, I, I bet. <coughs> Under the tree, right now, at my mum's, is a box of chocolates for my two sisters. And um, there's probably uh, a, a tub of celebrations for my nephew. Um, a tub of Quality Street for one of my nieces. And maybe roses for uh, my other niece. I don't know what for my other nephew though. So why why is there a bone going that way?
hate ribs from the Chinese because it's always like full of fat. You know. You know what else I love about Christmas is going and seeing your mates and seeing what they got. You know, and, and on Boxing Day going outside in your new clothes and I, it's so funny because you, we used to walk out on the street and you would see everyone in brand new clothes. It did, it used to make me laugh. It, that, that really did. But I'd really love to know what your guys' traditions was. You know, did you, you know, did you do something for Christmas or did you do anything for um, any for anything for Boxing Day as well? Did you sing carols and stuff to each other? I'd love to get other people's view on Christmas, on what they did. I think it'd be brilliant to 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 see. A different perspective of Christmas you know I'd like to know whether people did the same thing as me did different to me oh just a heads up uh, Tatiana why the favourite thing you got white is the box. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what it is about cats with boxes, you know. I would get something delivered and he just wants to climb in the box and, and hide in the box. And, oh, cats, I swear. But, yeah, let me know your guys' uh, traditions for Christmas. You know, I really, really enjoy it. Knowing what you lot uh, got up to for Christmas. Today is Wednesday, so it's not Christmas yet. But today I went swimming with uh, my nieces and nephews. You know what? <clears throat> I didn't used to, but I kind of like the smell of the smell of chlorine on my skin. Yeah, I don't know. <clears throat> yeah, after swimming, we went and sat down in um, McDonald's. Because McDonald's was opposite. Because uh, McDonald's was opposite the swimming pool. So we went in there, sat down. 
had something to eat. Um, I would have loved to have had something for McDonald's, but because I was filming tonight, um, I I didn't. I just sat and watched everyone else eat. Um, I had a burger, uh, like a cheeseburger. I didn't have, you know, I had a cheeseburger and a drink. I didn't have no chips or nothing. You know, um, but yeah, it's like they brought us our food to our table. So we're dining in. And bear in mind, there's two meals. Two, two, uh, one, one large meal, one medium meal, and two happy meals. They forgot the chips. I cannot wait for this year to be over. You know, yes, it's, it, you know, everything's not going to change from December, from January 1st. I know that, you know, but this this past year has been a year to forget it really has it's it's just been a nightmare man it's been an absolute nightmare and I can't wait for it to be over I can't wait for life to get back to normal and just yeah it's it's so weird I went to the supermarket for the first time in over a year. I went to Marks and Spencers and it's the first time I've stepped in a supermarket in over a year. I've always had deliveries. <clears throat> wow man, it's just so different now. I mean there's like you can't come in this door, you can only go in this door. This is the exit. This is the exit only. And then you have to follow this path around to get to the food. That path is for coming back out. Uh, and it's just like, wow, man, seriously. Right, uh, SM, I, I totally forgot. I don't like that. Um, the crispy chili chicken. Um, salt and pepper chicken, crispy chili beef, salt and pepper beef. Um, they're they're all the same. Just ones with a chili sauce, and the other ones without. I don't like it. I used to like it. I used to get it all the time, but yeah, I, I really don't like it. And these ribs are all fatty. Look, I mean. That side, there's like bone and stuff, when there shouldn't be. It should be a, f a long bone through the middle and that's it. And that's all fat. I hope everyone has had a great Christmas this year. Um, and that's not been a great start to the year. Hopefully, you know, you've had a good finish to it. Um, and yeah, I can't wait to read your stories about what you guys get up to on Christmas Day, what your traditions are. Um, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you did enjoy.